Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy. The show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export your images from Luminar Neo in the best possible quality for your social media accounts. These tips will be good for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and many other social media platforms. Following these simple steps will ensure that the time and effort you spend capturing and editing your photo will not be wasted when sharing it with the rest of the world. As a part of this tutorial, you will get our social media image crop ratio cheat sheet for 2023. If you want to get it, make sure that you follow the link in the description of this video, which will bring you to our Dropbox account and you can download it there. The process of exporting an image for social media platforms start at the end of the photo editing workflow. We have one example here, so let's select it and move it into edit module. Looking at the image, it's a lovely capture from Tuscany. And as you can see, all the editing's been done. We have a lovely sky with beautiful colors and everything looks the way it should. So now I know that I want to export it for one of the social media platforms. The first thing I need to do, and that will apply for all the platforms, is to add extra bit of sharpening. And the reason why we're going to do this is that the people will view this image on much smaller screens than the one we have home. So how we add extra sharpening? Well, for this, we're going to use the develop tool on our main toolbar. Let's click on it to open it. And then right in the middle, you can see the sharpness tab. Before we're going to adjust the sharpness, we want to zoom in. We can use Command or Control Plus, or we can use the shortcut at the bottom of our screen, usually around 100 or maybe even 200 should be more than enough. It really depends on your image and on the subject. And now we can come back to our develop tool and adjust the sharpness. To do this, we can use the sharpen slider. And usually I like to go quite high, somewhere between 40 or 50. You don't want to do just a little bit as it will make no difference on the image at all. So really push it, have a look at the image, see how it looks. You don't want to completely overdo it, but I think somewhere around 50 usually works for me. We're going to leave the radius the way it is and then quickly adjust the masking. Usually between 60 or 70 seems to be a good number. The reason why we use the masking is to make sure that we sharpening only the areas with the texture, details and edge. Once we're done with the sharpening, we can close the develop tool, zoom out and continue. The next step will involve cropping. Yes, you are right. Most of the social media platforms will allow you to crop the image there. However, by doing it here in the application, you will have much better control over the result. So to crop an image, we're going to use the crop AI tool on the top of our main toolbar. You can click on it there or you can use C on your keyboard as a shortcut to access it immediately. Now going there, we're going to be focusing on the ratio and the gray drop down box right under it. When you click on it, it will open and you will see that you have an option for a free crop, original crop and many presets that are built in in the application. For us now, what we want to look for is the enter custom option. Click on it to open it and that will open a new window. As you can see here, you can enter your own aspect ratio. 
This is where our image crop ratio cheat sheet will come handy. The reason is that every single social media platform has a different requirement when it comes to cropping your images. So for example, Instagram. If I want to share a landscape format of my image on Instagram, I need to share it in a crop of 1.91 on 1. Once I'm finished here, I can hit OK. And now I have the crop preset on our image. Now I can use a mouse and a little hand over it to adjust the position of the crop. So for example, I'm going to use the rule of third and I will keep a third of the sky in the image and two thirds of the land. Once I'm happy here, I can hit OK or I can click on apply on the tool and it will be cropped exactly the way I need it if I want to share it as a landscape image on Instagram. Well, let's go back to our crop. Let's reset it and let's have a look at another option. For example, if I want to share this image on Instagram in a portrait mode, we're going to use the 4 to 5 ratio. Again, it's the same workflow. We're going to click on a gray drop-down box, go to the Enter Custom, and here we can just enter 4 on 5. Then we just hit OK. Now, again, we can position the crop, and we can also use the corners of the crop. When we hover over them, we can now adjust it completely. We can make it smaller or bigger. Now, let's make it a little smaller and again, follow the idea of one third of a sky and two thirds of a land. Now, position it around. I actually want to avoid the little water here. So, let's say we're going to go here. And again, once we're happy, we can hit enter on our keyboard or click on apply. It takes a moment and now we have the crop done. If we're not happy with it, once again, hit C on your keyboard and again, position it the way you want it. Again, once we're happy, just hit enter. Before we're going to continue, I want to quickly mention that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. For a little fee, you will get over 986 new elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. Get it and get extra high definition, skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects, LUTs and presets. To get the best possible price, follow the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, visit our website cleverphotographer.com. To finish it off, let's go with one more example. And this time we want to share the image as a story on Facebook. So once again, see on our keyboard to go back to crop. And this time, following our cheat sheet, we want to use the crop of 16 on 9. So let's go back to our ratio. And you will see that some of these ratios are already here on the list as a preset. Let's go for the 16 on 9. And when I click on it, you will see that now we have 16 on 9, but on a landscape. Well, to switch this, nothing easier than go back to our tool. And next to it, you will see a little button where when you click on it, it will turn the crop around. So now we have the 16 on 9 ratio ready for the story. And once again, we can position it around and we can use the little handles to adjust the size of the crop. Once we're happy with it, once again, just hit enter and we are done. So now we have added extra sharpening and we have cropped the image following the requirements of the specific social media platform. The only thing that is left is to export the image. To do this, we need to right click on it and then select export. This will open a new window. And the first thing you want to do is to navigate towards the location where you want to save it. I will choose the sample file folder. And the next thing we want to do is to rename it. So we're going to call this Toscany and it's a Facebook story crop. Once we're done naming it, we need to make sure that we select the right format. First of all, we are looking for JPEG. After that, we're going to start from the top. We don't want to add any sharpening and in the resize, we want to make sure that we keep it to original. We don't want to do any resizing here. With the color space, the sRGB is quite nice. It gives you lovely colors, so leave it there. 
Once again, the format should be JPEG. And with the resolution, go for the 300 pixels on inch. With the quality, make sure that it sticks to 100. Once you finish here, all you need to do is to click on Save and wait a moment for the application to export your image. Now we have our image exported and it's ready to be shared. Before we're going to finish, one more tip. If you're going to move your image from your desktop or computer into your mobile device where you're going to upload it, make sure that you use service like Dropbox or AirDrop to avoid losing any additional quality. Services like WhatsApp or Messenger compress the files and by the time you get it on your mobile phone, you will again lose a little bit of quality there. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.